Welcome to this week's video for Web Design 2. You may be asking yourself, why is our instructor holding up purses? Great question. So I'm holding these guys up because they are perf perfect representations of where we are or where we should be at this point in the course. In my case, I was in Mexico shopping for handmade gifts for my wife. And I saw the, not exactly, I wasn't exactly looking for a purse, but I saw these and instantly appreciated the craftsmanship that went into them. Not only were they handmade, so very intricate designs in each of them, but someone who had a keen sense of design applied a color scheme to each of these purses and then accessorized based on that color scheme. Oh my goodness, immediately they had me. If you can do that, to any product you create, especially any web product that you generate, if you can apply a color scheme that makes it aesthetically pleasing, then someone like me might pay money for that product. In my case, times two. All right, so that brings us back to Web Design 2 this week. So I wanna, again, reference that I do not expect you to have an entire textbook, in this case of HTML and CSS, memorized in your head. I don't. At the very least, you should be able to create an HTML and CSS file by either hand coding it completely or by referencing online tutorials like W3Schools or Codecademy. If for whatever reason you struggled or have struggled uh, to complete the assignments in this course up to this point, then you really have to put in the additional time needed to go out and recomplete the same tutorials or seek advanced tutorials to give you whatever level of comfort it is that you need to complete any project going forward. So again, I do not expect you to have all of this memorized. I just expect you to be able to create basic files and then apply basic design principles like a beautiful color scheme to the HTML and the CSS files. We've also created multiple versions, which again speak, speak to version A and version B, the exact same product, a purse in this case, but in your case, a website, and then apply a color scheme to make both of the same products, the same websites, stand out a little bit. So if you can do that, for any work moving forward, then you are at a perfect spot in this course. Now, I'm uh, making things a little bit different for this week. Up to this point, we've created our own hand, maybe painfully, hand coding uh, CSS and HTML files. Now, I'm gonna provide you a template file. That template file, you can utilize completely for this project. And, if you are so inclined, reuse it for future projects. So again, I do not care if you hand code from this point forward, if you download a template and customize that template. What I'm really looking for though in a future web designer is that you can apply principles that make your page functional, that meet accessibility requirements, and that look beautiful. If you can do that, you will make me and your future clients very, very happy. And again, uh, we will keep adding more and more requirements as we go through future weeks. But for now, that's all you need. So if you've got that and you've mastered the art of creating a custom color palette and then applying that to the CSS, then you're at a beautiful spot. I look forward to seeing your modified template files this week. Good luck.